when I first started out, there was just so much trying to learn. And then when I got into those controls, I really had to take some extra courses for me to really, really understand those. I could not just jump in and, and learn it and then go to the next one. And I'm on a Dan Foss controller or anything like that. You have to take the time and invest in yourself to do it. Because then when you go on those service calls, you're going to rock it. Yeah, I totally agree. Because I know I've walked up to stores before and then didn't even know how to log in. Like your first time out there at the store, it's like, what? how do I even log into this controller? So step one is getting that basic understanding because this could happen to you. That username and password, you may not know it. And what I keep teaching more and more people is you should have your own user uh, name and password. So you log anything you do on that controller, it's logged. Because it's so important to understand what you did, especially on the E2, just user and pass. You know what I mean? Anyone can go in and change anything. You don't know who's messing around with it. I've seen it many, many times where people would say, oh, that wasn't me. You know, I didn't change anything. But you wouldn't know. For me, it didn't matter if you changed something and if you made a mistake. That happens. This is refrigeration. We do make mistakes. But it takes us a lot longer to figure out a problem if we don't know what's been changed. 